Hey guys, this is Sergeant. I'm a little standoffish on him right now. He's shy. So Sergeant uh, is the son of Bella, my big white doe. And Sergeant is a Alpine Saber cross. So that would mean Sonnen, a little bit of Boer, actually has a little bit of Nubian as well, and Alpine. And um, he is built beautifully. I'm gonna have him step up later. Let me see if I can get Chief out of here because he's just standing in the way. Go on, buddy. So, good boy. Good boy. He kind of, he's a subdominant, so he gets picked on. So he's going to be worried about Chief. But look how leggy he is. He is beautiful. This goat is built amazing. I'm so excited about how well he's built. His body to leg ratio. I mean, he's just, he's a three-year-old. Um, he weighs in uh, mid, like, 190s, low 190s. I haven't weighed him, like, real recently, but I know that's where he's at. And he's just, he's doing great on the trail as a three-year-old. He's packing 30 pounds really easy, short trips. He's in shape. He's got heart. Um, he's a subdominant, so he kind of gets pushed around by people. So you can see he moves away when Chief comes around. He's actually gotten way more loving by the time I've spent with him in the backcountry. It's an interesting dynamic that these guys, they get like dependent on you. And when it clicks that, that part of them in that becomes dependent, they become just more bonded. It's really a beautiful thing. They like borrow your energy. And so he's just doing super, super good. I'm really excited to see him finish out and get to his full growth. Um, at three years old, again, I'm already happy with where he's at. Um, and he's built so well and he's so efficient. He carries weight really, really nicely. The cute part about him is he was, as a little baby, like a pain in my butt, in my face all the time. And he's kind of gone the way of his mother um, in that she's kind of standoffish, but um, he also has kind of come around full circle um, and gotten more bonded and more connected. So it's been really interesting to see Sergeant transition over time. You can see him getting all sleepy eyed. He's just loving this love and just soaking it up. And that was always his nature as a baby. He was like a bucket with a hole in it. You couldn't give him enough love. And now he's just really starting to settle back into that place. So it's, it's been cool to see him kind of drift away and then now come back. And your goats will do that on occasion. Um, some of them are softer to what I would call pressure. Um, and he's one who's soft to pressure. When I have to put him on the the thing and trim his hooves or give him a shot he gets all kind of he gets butt hurt about it and he's not like butt hurt mad he gets butt hurt scared like i'm somebody to avoid and some goats are just softer to pressure than others and he's one who's really really soft to pressure so once you have a goat like this you need to recognize that you just can't put pressure on them same they, they, they're not as forgiving and it's not the forgiveness aspect it's that they become scared of you so, you know, really need to be conscious just of it with it. Um, he's also, um, I would put him at medium intelligence. He's not my smartest goat. Um, and he's certainly not needy. Um, he's also not mean. He doesn't pound other goats. He's not a butthole to, to some of the other ones. So he's actually one of my really sweet spot goats. I really like him. And especially now that he's become more personable. Um, but he's also just a beautiful goat. You can actually see the little bit of Nubian he has left in the backside of his ear color. That's common with Nubians and the fact that he has big ears. So, oh, also too, by the way, if you notice his scrotum, this is a goat that I did Burdizo on. And Burdizo is how I trimmed him and, um, or how I castrated him. And that's how, that's how their, their scrotum ends up looking when you do the Burdizo is it stays in, intact and it just looks way littler. Um, so we successfully castrated him with that method. Now, I don't use that method because I just don't like it. Um, it's such a hard thing to do on your own. Um, and when you late castrate like we do, um, that, that cord, that, that, the semen cord or whatever it's called, I can, I don't, I don't, Vans deferens, I believe is what it's called. Somebody's going to correct me online. But anyway, that cord is like the thickest, most rubbery, spaghetti noodle you've ever tried and when you try to climp it in that thing it just squirts out the side and it's really hard to keep it in place and we had to trim multiple times so i don't necessarily recommend that method um, but this is sergeant he's a really special weather he's going to be one of my up-and-comers i'm super stoked about him he's just a rad rad big boy 
So um, I like introducing you to my boys. They all have different personalities. Um, I'm probably going to introduce you to an adult next. And um, this one I still consider a sub-adult. I hope you find that helpful. Um, uh, don't forget to click to subscribe. Make sure you share this channel with your friends. And if you want to learn more about raising goats, we have a baby goat courses. We have courses on everything goat, milking, birthing, um, you know, uh, how to run packers. And then we have a goat club membership where you can look over my shoulder and watch me raise goats uh, on a day to day basis, treatments, all those different things. And if you really want to learn about raising goats, I'm glad to help you. All right. Take care. Mark Warnke, the goat guy, signing out. Oh, my God.